A clear effector, it's not all that relevant. It's just when it's sent to the grave for a synchro, you draw one. I mean, I, I, I guess that's nice. Um, I honestly don't know why I put this here. Uh, I, I do remember back in the old days where you would just summon out Junk Synchron and then summon a level 2 from Grave and Synchro Summon. So it's kind of like another uh, tuning wear, I think that's what it's called. Uh, the machine type where it can be treated as level 2 when it's, and when it's used for a synchro, you draw a card. I guess, yeah. Um, it's, it's just something to consider. Uh, Necroid Synchro. Um, I don't know what this card actual name is. Uh, it might still be Necroid Synchro. But you banish a tuner and up to two non-tuners from your graveyard and special summon from your extra deck one Stardust uh, Synchro monster whose level, uh, you know, who level matches the monsters that you banished. But the monster's effect is negated. So um, if you're playing a Synchro-based deck, um, I do think this would be a real strong card. Uh, just because it banishes, like it doesn't use from your field or from your hand or, well, it would be nice if it used from your deck, but it just uses what's already in your graveyard and just banishes it and just say, okay, uh, just special summon uh, Stardust Monster from your extra deck. Um, this could be good in something like Black Wings, where Black Wings really just uh, use all their resources in one turn and then they kind of have the big graveyard. Uh, so then after that, you could be like, okay, let me just activate this Necroid Synchro, just bring up another body on the field, even if it doesn't have an effect. You could uh, Synchro Summon into another monster after summoning uh, or using this card, but it's uh, it's not all that consistent. But, you know, it is still a possibility. Uh, next, we have Chaos Scepter Blast. So what it does is when you control a level 8 or higher spell card as a type monster, banish a card in the field face down. If this card on its owner's spawn shot card feels destroyed, uh, you special summon Magician of Black Chaos or Dark Magician of Chaos from your deck, ignoring summoning conditions. So first off, it says level 8 or higher, which kind of ruins the consistency for this card because uh, at the end of the day, uh, Dark Magician of Chaos isn't too easy to summon, like, if you play the dedication through Light and Darkness and you tribute Dark Magician, then you summon it, like, that's one thing, but even that still has, like, um, takes a bit, like, I don't think it'll be done in one turn, so I don't think it's all, it's all too great to play by itself, but, um, it definitely is something, uh, worth considering if you play Dark Magician deck, or if you um, play a deck that, you know, just uses spellcasters. Uh, like Pendulum Magician, if this said level 7 or higher, Pendulum Magician would just have a field day with this card. Like, they, like this would just be amazing. But, um, unfortunately it doesn't. So, it's just half decent, not too great. Um, so, next we have Clashing Souls. Uh, so what this card does is if an attack magician monster you control battles an opponent's attack magician monster with higher attack. So your opponent's monster needs to have higher attack than your monster. During damage calculation, the player who controls uh, the battling monster with, uh, with lower attack can pay 500 life points. And if they do, their monster gains 500 attack during damage calculation only. Both players can repeat this effect um, until neither player chooses to pay life points anymore. So pretty much... Uh, if we have, uh, so let's say I have a 1600 monster, you have an 1800 monster, right? I attack you, I pay 500, my monster becomes 21. Now, after that, you have the chance to pay another 500 of your life points, and then your monster becomes 23. But as I control the lower attack monster now, like, uh, I can pay 500 again, and then my monster becomes 26. So we just keep battling back and forth, like we just keep going back and forth. Like you can't pay more than 500 life points at once, so it has to be back and forth. And then when neither player says, okay, or when both players say, okay, I don't want to pay life points anymore, that's when the battle commences. And so what happens is the monster who gets destroyed, so the player uh, who controls the monster that is destroyed by this battle, they have to send all their cards uh, from the field to the graveyard. Um, and it's <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. Uh, uh, because if you play this against heroes, so if they go, um, a, a hero lives first turn and they only have 4,000, 
you you know I'm gonna summon out any monster, right? Any monster, and just attack into that Dark Law. So you get to pay. Uh, so you get to just keep paying 500 life points until your monsters hide in their monster, right? And then uh, they get to pay 500, and then uh, you get to pay 500. But the thing is, is that it keeps going back and forth. But the fact is that, that they lost so many life points just playing a hero lives. Um, it's going to be pretty funny. And uh, if you just normal summon like a weak monster and then attack, they usually they're not going to solemn it. They're not going to strike. They're not going to warning. They're not going to bottomless you. Because you're gonna be like, okay, so what? So what's your monster gonna do? But you're gonna go straight into battle phase. You know, you're not even gonna be worried about anything, <laughs> and you're just gonna attack, and, you're, and they're just gonna look at you like what you're doing. You're gonna activate this card, and they're gonna get a bit salty, because uh, <laughs> it's, it's it's gonna it's just gonna keep going back and forth. But because of their lack of life points, uh, they won't be able to hold up their own dark law, or if if they summon dark law, like so sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. But, um, yeah, they're going to be forced to send everything to the grave. And then after that, you can play play the game again. But, um, I think it's it's not, uh, I don't think it's something that you should really play consistently. Like, I think this only works against certain decks. Uh, because, again, like, not every deck would care if you, um, if you got rid of all their cards on the field. Like, some decks can really come back from that. Some decks can't. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a real fun card. Um, it, it'll be real nice to see it, like, used in, like, a professional duel, but, um, I don't think it's something you should, like, may, like, just pick these up, but don't use it yet. <laughs>